Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has finally started rolling out the first wave of new features for Windows 11 version 22H2. And um, this is an out-of-band update, which they started rolling out on the 18th of October, KB5019509. And um, this is also referred to as the first moment one update, as I have posted on. Now, um, once the update has been applied, if we just head over to Winver and just type in Winver in the search quickly, um, the OS build now for version 22H2 will be bumped up to 2261.675. Now, um, just to go through some of the new features quickly, and I think the key highlight would be the tab support now that has been made available for the File Explorer. So if we just head over to the File Explorer, now we have tab support in the tab strip. So if we click on the Add New Tab, it opens up new tabs uh, in the File Explorer now. And if you right click on a tab, you can close other tabs. You can close that tab. Obviously, you can X out of different tabs. Uh, if you just go to some folders, if you right click on a folder, you can open that in a new tab now. Let's just do another one as an example. Click on Downloads, open a new tab. You also have drag and drop support where you can drag and drop the tabs to different locations in the tab strip. So very similar to your tab support you find in your conventional web browsers. And then over and above, uh, the tab support now that's finally started running out um, there is the new file explorer homepage where you can pin important files for quick and easy access now in the navigation pane as we can see and as i have posted on previously so tab support now and those navigation improvements now rolling out uh, in the first wave of new features for windows 11 version 22h2 and then the next uh, new feature is suggested actions for items that you copy now this is only available for users currently in the united states canada and mexico so all i can do at this stage because i'm not in those regions uh, is just show you a screenshot which is quite uh, familiar by now and um, for example when you copy phone numbers or future dates uh, microsoft say they will provide suggestions such as make a call with teams or skype or add an event in the calendar app. So that's the new suggested actions now, also available in the Moment 1 update for Windows 11 version 22H2. And then as you can see, I have added quite a couple of apps and icons to my taskbar, and we have the new taskbar overflow menu. And um, when your taskbar becomes full of icons and apps, you click on the taskbar overflow and you can access those extra icons and apps now in the overflow menu for your taskbar and this is a bit extreme but i just wanted to demonstrate for the purposes of this video the new taskbar overflow menu now is also finally arrived and then while we are sticking with the taskbar um the uh, there should have been the right click task manager setting and um, that should have rolled out with the moment one update now as i have posted previously um, currently, um, and up until this uh, uh, stage in Windows 11, if you right-clicked, you only got the taskbar settings. If you right-clicked on the taskbar. Now, there should have been an extra option now. And um, the task manager, the right-click context menu, task manager setting should have also been made available. But I'm not seeing that. So maybe that's still going to be on a controlled rollout. But that, as mentioned, was going to be part of the Moment 1 update. And then just moving on to some other new features, and I'm just going to mention this one quickly. Um, you have now um, better nearby sharing. So you can now directly share files to discoverable devices through the desktop, file explorer, photos, snippet tool, Xbox, and other apps. So improved nearby sharing with the, uh, the um, improvements now for version 22H2. And then um, the photos app um, was also going to be part of the moment one update. But that still hasn't rolled out, and um, apparently it's only going to be made available near the end of October. But I have posted on that previously, so I'll leave a link in the description to um, a previous video I did post on the New Photos app, which will just provide you with a lot more um, information if that would be of interest. So um, that one of those new features is um, iCloud integration, and that's starting in November, as I have posted on. But I'll leave a link to that in the description. So the New Photos app. Um, should be made available near the end of this month, also part of the Moment 1 update. And then um, the Amazon App Store and Android apps are now supported um, on Windows 11 version 22H2 in 31 countries, as I have posted. Now, I'm not in one of those regions, but that does include the UK, Canada, Germany, 
and several other countries. And previously, um, the Android app support, as I did post on, was limited to the United States and Japan. So that's now available in 31 different regions and countries now. And then just a last quick mention, um, the um, ESPN app is now available um, to download through the Microsoft Store in case you are interested. That's also a new improvement for the first wave of new features that have started rolling out for Windows 11 version 22H2. And that's the Moment One update KB5019509. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.